Residents in Puyallup are calling for the city council to create a commission to help deal with race related incidents in the city. So the council held a virtual meeting earlier this week and members say they're not entirely sold yet on the idea. King 5's Lionel Donovan live in Puyallup tonight. So Lionel, what are people saying about it? Well, Mark, people here have been calling for the need of a commission in Puyallup for some time now, but those calls have gotten even louder after a racist statue was erected in front of Pu one of Puyallup's most well-traveled streets just a few weeks ago. After that, residents here say they can't wait any longer. Puyallup is dealing with the aftermath of a racist statue erected in one of its major neighborhoods. Residents were shocked to see it erected and demanded the city address the issue. But the city council released a statement saying the statue, although offensive, was still legal to display. I think people have a right to, to say things that other people might consider hateful, and I wish they wouldn't. I think the principle of free speech reigns here. We reached out to a lawyer to help clarify the issue. Hate speech in and of itself is not covered as part of free speech uh, under our Constitution and the First Amendment. The difficulty sometimes is determining precisely what is hate speech and what is not hate speech. After seeing the statue in question, Bible says it'd be hard not to interpret it as a symbol of hate speech. It's the sort of thing that we might see uh, uh, like a sign that would say no blacks are welcome here, uh, no blacks should live here, that sort of thing. Um, that could intimidate people from exercising other constitutional rights. So, so what happens now? Activists in Puyallup put forward a proposal to the city council that would create a commission that would address issues like this. But the council says it goes too far and wants an alternative. Quite a few citizens are calling for something to be done, something more concrete. So moving forward, what would that look like? You know, we've talked about festivals, we've talked about book clubs, we've talked about education events that we could have. Um, we're open. Whatever happens, the key is making sure everyone in Puyallup feels welcome. Making sure that all individuals felt safe and comfortable uh, in the city of Puyallup would also be critical. Uh, they fail when they just simply say, well, it's allowed. Now, activists are saying that they will be holding an event here in Puyallup tomorrow in order to garner support for their proposal and to continue advocating for a commission. And they're hoping that as more eyes get drawn to this issue, that might encourage the city council to act. For now, we're live in Puyallup. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.